Brittany. So today's gonna be a movie review and today I'll be reviewing Twilight. So Twilight is directed by Catherine Hart Hardwick and of course based on the book by Stephanie Meyer and it was released November 21st 2008 and of course as we know, and for those who have seen the movie, that Kristen Stewart plays Bella Swan and um, Robert Pattinson as Edward the Vampire and Taylor Lautner as Jacob Black the Werewolf. And now when this first came out, okay so it was November 21st, 2008. So it was after my birthday and I was 17. So no, watching it the first time, I did not know what to expect. And even though it was called Twilight, I thought I I just didn't know what it was about. But and the thing is cuz I know um a lot of teenage girls around that time read pretty much all the books. Although I never read the books because I just didn't know what it was about. So seeing the movie, it was just like, I mean, there, there are some things um, that I do like. And even after rewatching it again, you know, I, I would have to say there's just some things I do like, but I think most of it just could have changed and and because I think I, I just don't know how different it is from the book so yeah and of course uh, I don't think I have to go on with the story itself because we all know like because it, in the movie you know with Kristen Stewart as Bella we see how she leaves um, home, her home in Arizona and she gets to move in with her dad um, in a small town in Washington and when she settled there she goes to a whole new school there and of course we can see she's this very uh, silent you know very uh, cute to herself type of person but it's like she's a very I think a very quiet, awkward teenage girl, you know, and, and then of course, um, and then she gets reacquainted with her, um, I think her childhood friend, Jacob Black, and and of course if there's there's something about him that she doesn't know is that he has um, that he has a family of like in his bloodline of um, werewolves so you know she doesn't know that until of course part two but you know of course she gets reacquainted with him and you know so they're just like trying to I think get to know each other and everything so we can see that that you know that he likes her but you know he's just not saying anything about it but yeah, um, so yeah, so she gets like that. We can see she's this very awkward character, and of course, she seems to make friends um, right away. And, and then, of course, when she sees Edward, you know, you know, like she glances at him and he looks at her. But it was until one day at school that um, I think one of her friends was driving and he I don't think he saw her there so he tried turning so he won't hurt her but she almost got injured um, and because you know Edward comes in and you know he saves her but you know of course things get more uh, I don't know. Uh, if you know what I mean, like 
so yeah you know of course it just shows how from that point on she you know she's wondering how he got to her so fast and so he was even telling her well I was standing right next to you like like no you weren't and so so somehow she demands to know like how he got to her so fast and, and everything but then it doesn't take her long to find out that he's um, a vampire and so when she confronts him about it I mean the, the way it was done I feel like it wasn't in a very it uh, how, how do I say it it's not very intimidating you know it's it's not I uh, so yeah like I said, I'm not going to go on with the whole story because I feel like trying to explain certain things just sound quite awkward to, to say it out loud, you know, because the way it turned out and everything. But, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I would just say, like I said, there are just certain things, certain parts I do like, but like I said, I just don't know how different it is from the book. So, I think if they had done certain things from the book itself and maybe made it more into like a dramatic, suspenseful movie with also a bit of romance, then I think that would have done quite well. You know, I think so. But it did not really quite... Yeah, it didn't really went that way. And plus, um, for those who are Twilight fans, forgive me, um, but I feel like, or anyone who's watching this and who likes Kristen Stewart in general, um, I feel like, I feel like she wasn't quite the, the great choice for Bella, only because she was scuffing a lot. You know, like when she would be talking, she would scuff. You know, like, like you know when you see her talking and it, it like she's talked that, that way to anyone, to her dad, to her friends, to Edward. I'm like, okay, like, and then with him liking her, but even though he feels like it's you know wrong for him to like her because she's human and he's not which now I get now I I would say Edward does have morals he does have really good reasons to why that they wouldn't be a good match because he's a vampire she's not and if he were to get together with her then of course her blood is gonna drive him crazy where he probably would want to you know, sink his teeth into her. So, he has good points for that humans and vampires would not be a good match to be together, you know, in a relationship. So, now that I, I understand, and that's something I like Edward about, is that he has his reasons. And, but then of course, you know, um, even though despite of what he believes and and what he stands by but somehow he still seems to fall in love with her this, despite all that and so yeah I don't know just, just seeing this romance you know teen romance between a, a human girl and a vampire like I don't know, it just seems, well, awkward for one, and I think that's because Kristen Stewart's performance is awkward. I don't know, I feel like she wasn't believable as Bella. You know, I feel like if they had cast maybe a different actress to play her, like maybe someone who has like a strong personality, someone who's independent, someone who thinks for herself, someone who like 
it, even though she likes Edward, but she doesn't quite sure, like, 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 even if she knows who he is, but somehow she feels like she's not so sure if she wants to be with someone who's a vampire, you know? So, I wish somehow Bella could have had that, like, a different personality and someone where she just thinks for herself and makes her own choices, but, you know, it seems like no matter what happens that she somehow she tries to accept it or somehow she just accepts it as it is and she doesn't question it she doesn't she doesn't really get to think about it before if she wants to accept it or not you know and this is frustrating to watch you know i feel like kristen stewart's performance is just well for one just like very cringy to watch you know, and like I said, when you see her talking, no, no matter who it is, she's like, oh, um, <laughs> you know, she's scuffing, like, what, <sighs> like, what the hell is wrong with you, like, and I'm sorry for saying that, but at the same time, I feel like, ugh, like I said, her performance just makes me uncomfortable to watch, but I must say, now with Robert Pattinson, with his performance as Edward, I would say it was good in some way, but I think that could have been better, maybe, like maybe with a more, um, I, I don't know how to put it, <laughs> maybe I think if his character is probably more outspoken, like towards Bella, and maybe just has this, um, kind of personality where he's like, okay, you know what, I'm sorry, but no, you know, like, just, just say no, you don't always have to agree with something, but, um, I also like Taylor Lautner's performance as Jacob, now, we may not see him as much in the first, but we do see him, of course, a bit more in two and with the rest of the movies. So, like I said, there are just certain parts that I think are okay, some parts I like, but other than that, I feel like pretty much everything is just, like, it, it could have done better, you know, I think so, and like I said, I think it could have been this very, um, dramatic, um, suspenseful romance teen movie, like, if it was, if it had just a little bit of a dark tone to it, um, and of course with some romance here, then yeah, I think that probably would have been good. And of course, I think, now of course, I would not change the casting, like, I wouldn't change, like, even the rest of the cast. I, I would say for those, like, Edward's family, I still like them, um, of their characters, and of course I wouldn't change of Taylor Lautner being Jacob Black because he was the perfect choice for Jacob, and of course Robert Pattinson as Edward, so I wouldn't change that either, but I think his character could have been more outspoken, could have been a little bit more tough, you know, so yeah, that, that's just what I think, but I would change the I would change the the casting um like the casting choice for Bella though and like I said I do think it could have been a completely different actress and who would that be I don't know I don't know I think it could have been any actress that I think that probably would have done the character a bit more and maybe better like I said maybe with the Wow, okay, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was thunder. Really? Wow, thunder. So yeah, it seems like we're getting like a thunderstorm and maybe maybe some rain later, but oh, I love thunder. And I love the rain. I love lighting too. I, I love the whole thing. So yeah, bring it on. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but I hope 
I hope you did and I hope that can be heard within the video because that that would be great it would what was I saying before that happened um oh yeah I would change the casting choice for Bella though because and that light just flickered and I think it's because of the storm oh man I hope the light doesn't go out <sighs> okay like I said I would change that only because Okay, okay, it's the the thunder is just uh, getting my attention here at the moment. I would change that though because her performance, like I said, is awkward, it's uncomfortable and cringy to watch. So it's like, ugh, no, I'm sorry. But like I said, I would, however, would like to see another actress that would have play the role of Bella, but of course do a much better job, maybe give Bella maybe a strong, maybe independent personality, and like no matter how much she likes Edward, but yet she questions whether if they would be a good match, and despite him being a vampire and everything, that she just would question it before her just accepting it right away and just saying well okay well I don't care <laughs> you know what I mean like I I just wish someone else could just play that role and do a much better job and I'll say this for those who like Kristen Stewart in other movies or are fans of the Twilight movies I'm sorry if you probably didn't like hearing what I have to say but at the same time I'm not sorry for saying that because I'm just being honest and the thing is now I would say Chris is short I would say in a way she is good but I feel like you know I, I mean I've seen her movies even the ones after Twilight but I feel like some of it is just kind of the same even how she was acting like Bella so yeah, I mean, I'm not really a fan of hers or anything, but I think she could have done better or someone else could have done better of the role. So to rate Twilight, I would say, oh damn. No, I would just say, uh, uh, a D. Oh, that's so low. Um, oh gosh, I gotta think quick. Um, of Ten percent. Uh, three out of ten, and uh, uh, sixteen percent. So now the thing is, now of course, um, I just want to say, okay, so that's my rating, right there. But what I also want to say is that when I do other movie reviews, whether if it's um, either, no matter what movie it is, whether if it's um, a, a good movie, a bad movie, a great movie, or maybe the worst, I will even rate those because... Um, I think it also depends on my rating. It depends on like certain movies that either I really like or that I don't like or those that I really love because the ones that I do love are my favorite ones and even the, the ones that I've seen that I feel like maybe are the worst to me so I will even rate some bad and worst ones on here but of course I will 
rate of course mostly good and great ones so yeah so yeah I would say that's probably like the lowest rating I've ever gave I, I believe but I mean hey if you're a Twilight fan and you love all the Twilight movies okay that's fine but like I said there's just some things I think are okay and certain parts I like but I just feel like everything just could have been turned out differently and I also think that um, I think maybe if it was done today I think maybe it would have that maybe it probably would have done maybe a bit more better but and that's saying I think if they were to go by the book and maybe add a bit more suspense and maybe with a bit more of a dark tone but also still with romance in it and if it turned out like this great like dramatic also maybe a bit of horror and romance movie as well then yeah I do think I probably would have really liked it but because it turned out not that way and it turned out the way it did then then it's like it could have been more suspenseful you know it could have had more of a certain dark tone to it so yeah it could have been that way but no so um I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you heard the thunder as well because that was great I hope I could hear more so um hope you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of well twilight so that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.